Hi, I'm Ray. I'll be your croupier again today. So let's play a game of Eddie Hearn's Roulette. <laughs> OK, Matchroom Chairman Eddie Hearn with us today in the studio, a man who's worked with and promoted rub shoulders with some of the biggest names in the world of sports. So we've borrowed that roulette wheel from the famous Empire Casino in Leicester Square and we're going to spin it completely at random, Ray, right? Oh, completely, absolutely. Completely at random. It's going to land on a famous name that you've had dealings with in the past and all you have to do is tell us uh, your thoughts on that individual and any anecdotes that you have. So if you're ready, Ray, we give it a spin. Here we go. <laughs> 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 it's too I late. can't believe you got a roulette. It's late, isn't it? it's Black late. 15, Jordan Pickford. <laughs> oh, there was, we go. I was shocked when I saw this one. Jordan Pickford? Yeah. What's your was, story about him? I was just, uh, I just spent a great, well, not intentionally, but just spent a great sort of week with Jordan Pickford in the Caribbean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we watched, watched the England game. I was out there for the final and my kids were there and family was there and, and two days later, Jordan Pickford's bowled into the hotel oh, wow. so my kids have just run up to me <laughs> screaming you know dad dad Jordan Pickford's in the hotel I said listen listen I said the guys just come off right the most stressful couple of weeks I went just please just let him enjoy his time with his family okay okay then he's walked past them Pickford Pickford <laughs> and they've got all these songs they learn on on TikTok you know yeah. so and then um, ended up he's, he's come to a couple of fights before actually um, great 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 lad great lad um he's got a young son and and he was mixing with with all the kids and just um great to talk to him really great football mind like a bit of a stato mm. actually on, on his football and obviously had an unbelievable tournament loves his he darts did. as well loves he? his darts loves his uh, boxing loves his boxing i mean mm. talking to me about the amateur fighters from the northeast and um just found him to be a really really nice genuine down to earth guy um was playing cricket on the uh, on the beach with the kids you know and at, at first you sort of don't you, you don't want to bother this and it was, it was a decent hotel Usually so he wasn't getting as as mobbed but yeah. he was like it surprised it's me nice how it was and you know on the last day it's quite funny because he's a real competitor we had a game of golf and i could see how hard he was trying mm. and on the last day we were playing a bit of beach cricket and these kids were coming up to bowl you know some of them i knew from family friends one was 11, pretty decent. I think he's on the verge of the Essex team. Oh, my God. Jordan was just tonking him everywhere. I mean, he's trying so hard. You know, <laughs> like, it, Jordan, <laughs> let him hit the stumps and he's like he's smashing What's that scene on the, the sea, one of so. the uh, comedies when, uh, when you play against your kids, they're just hitting it everywhere. The dad's yeah. got to win yeah. every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's true, he's it? definitely not the one that lets it through the legs. <laughs> you know? But he was, uh, no, he was, he's a top, top boy and... Uh, Oh, yeah. what a tournament he had. Oh, it? amazing. That, that amazing. Jorginho penalty save. Yeah. And I thought, he, oh, we got a chance here. We got a chance. Yeah. This is yeah. it. This is a turning point. Yeah. Then, and I know. think that, you know, it's hard not to ask questions. You know, you don't want to ask questions because you think the last thing he wants to do is talk about yeah. football. But, you, you know, you ask yeah. about, and, and what it seems is, is that the the camaraderie and oh, yeah, you know, absolutely. between the lads yeah, was, was brilliant. Yeah. And, and everybody was so desperate to win and... You know, I think we got we got a great future with these with these people. I'm Definitely. really glad that he got a proper holiday because the only video I saw was that in that tent in Sunderland when he was on someone's shoulders. Well, and that, I thought that can't be the holiday he has. Surely, <laughs> that's he, when he arrived um, and I said hello to him, I think that was just those pictures were just breaking, <laughs> and he was like saying to me, "Oh God." You know, I said, mate, don't worry. I said, you got a free pass for at least a month. I said, <laughs> I said, you think the country don't think you should go out and enjoy yourself? Yeah, you enjoy but that's yourself. the thing with him. You know, he was saying, this guy's so down to earth. He's going, oh, I love those, you know, parties in the tent. He goes, have you done bongo bingo? Apparently, there's this thing <laughs> it's in. It's amazing. Oh my god, he was showing images, and he's like, I love doing that in Sunderland. And, you know, he's, he's a that's real good. Not, lovely, lovely he dude. He is right. Bongo bingo is amazing. Right, here we go. No, yeah, Next spin. spin. Red number nine, Raheem Sterling. Yeah, the footballer. Yeah, it was oh, quite similar actually. Yeah, quite similar. Um, <laughs> this was a couple of years ago, and I was—I think I was in Ibiza, and same thing that just fascinated me. And I think it's, it's something that the public should know and should see more of. Is just that these guys, all despite their success and despite their their fame and their wealth, mm. just down to earth people Working who love guys, love really, the sport. A lot of guys. And Raheem Sterling. I saw him play football on the on the beach with half a dozen kids for 20, 30 minutes. And it was just, 
amazing to watch. You know, when we go back to what we're saying about sport, mm. to get people into sport, you need you need you need heroes. Heads, yeah. And those kids that played football with Raheem Sterling mm. that day in Ibiza will never ever forget it, and no. it will inspire them and generations after them. So again, that was another. Another example of actually yeah. the things we should be champion about these guys. You about. go on great holidays, Eddie, don't you? It's just you? a random one, that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. amazing, isn't it? One more spin. Yeah, I don't think you see Eddie and Butley in summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? We do, we do darts oh, there, Ray. Oh, come on. I bet you don't stay there. <laughs> you actually do. Bob Red 23, yeah. Anthony Joshua. There you go, AJ. Well, the main man himself. AJ. Yeah, well, loads of stories about AJ. That's the best um, one. Probably... Before AJ would had really cracked it in the boxing, you know, I think it's well documented. He was he got himself into a bit of trouble, and, and I got a letter once from a um, <laughs> from a, a boxing club to say, look, Anthony Joshua needs mm. to go and appear before certain individuals, and yep. I'd like you to come along and explain the potential of someone like Anthony in heavyweight boxing. You know, mm. if he won a title. How much money he could earn? How much you know? How big he could be if, if he was representing the country? I, I didn't know who Anthony Joshua was, so I looked at the letter and just sort of swerved that one straight in the bin. <laughs> anyway, six months later, I went up to the EIS, the Institute of Sport in Sheffield, to see Carl Froch. Yeah. And as I was talking to Carl Froch, I just heard this noise, which was which is like the sound of a heavy bag going from. And I turned around, and this bloke was just decimating this heavy bag. And I said to Rob McCracken, who's, who's the GB coach, who is that? And he went, that's Anthony Joshua. He's going to oh, wow. be massive. And then I thought, oh, <laughs> yeah, no, letter. the letter. <laughs> so, but by then it was too late. Oh, no. So, yeah, that was um, just funny how your paths sort of meet later in life. And obviously the rest is history. Yeah, that's brilliant. amazing, isn't it? Thanks. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.